what is going on? It is the review for the Real Sociedad Man United game. Um, the 4 0 victory. Easy this football thing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, not really sure what happened, to be honest. Uh, they're a good team. Fifth in La Liga, I think they are. Something like that. Oh, I think they're about fifth. We just battered them, didn't we, really? We just absolutely battered them. Um, other than the Southampton game, maybe Leeds. Can't really think of a game where we've dominated it like that. They're a good. Like, they're very technically good. Yamazai played really well. Davis Silva didn't really feature much, which is a bit strange. Getting on a bit, I suppose. Um, but we absolutely blew them away. Uh, we haven't really been doing it this year. And I can't really put my finger on why, since we didn't have Cavani, Pogba. I don't really know. But everyone, everyone kind of stepped up, didn't they? Uh, the first two minutes was a bit of a weird one. <laughs> a bit like a basketball game. But end-to-end, a -end, couple of mistakes in there, a bit, rust bit rusty. Um, really poor defending by, uh, I think it was by in, uh, at the start. But once we got a foothold in the game, uh, we took control, absolutely dominated it. Uh, obviously Bruno stepping up. Uh, Rashford, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, but we normally struggle against Spanish opposition, which is a bit strange how we, how we dominated them. Because Spanish teams are normally quite technical, quite good on the ball, quite good at keeping possession. Uh, they did keep the ball a bit, but didn't really do a great deal, let's be honest. Uh, it was a bit odd. Uh, could have been six or seven by the end. Um, we missed a couple of chances. Rashford missed blatant sitters. For me, I thought it was sitters. But uh, he eventually got on the score sheet, which is really good. Uh, as I said earlier, it felt a bit like the Leeds game. And Bielsa, the manager was a bit naive, I thought, the Real Sociedad manager. Uh, just 3 0 down, and he was just like, ah, fuck it, still go for it and try and score, which. Led to a high, uh, they kept the high line, which is a bit weird with the pace we had up front. We got through them pff, countless times. Like I say, it could have been six, seven, or eight. Um, you'd have thought he'd have learned in the first half, sit back a little bit, absorb the pressure a little bit, but he didn't. He just, fair play to him, he just went for it, but that was a bit naive. Um, weird that he didn't change or realise that that's what was happening, really. Um, I thought it was a bit odd. thought it was a bit odd, personally. And the next bit. So, as you probably know by now, uh, Bruno Fernandes is literally unbelievable. Um, I think he's at the point of being world-class. I'll put my head on the chopping block and say he's just... He absolutely ran the show. Uh, he, he, he is world-class. I wouldn't change him for anybody in the world right now. Um, not even De Bruyne, which is a big shout, but uh, I think he's arguably, at the moment, the best midfielder in Europe. Um, he's incredible. He's incredible. Uh, obviously, this result today, or yesterday night rather, last night, um, allows us to rotate next week, which is huge, really, because the Premier League, we are dropping off a little bit. But uh, with us winning 4 0, uh, going back to Old Trafford next week, I think it gives us a chance to start the likes of Diallo, um, Greenwood up top, maybe. Um, I can't show. Sure... He's on the bench, I can't remember his name. The young lad who's just been given a professional contract. Um, he, he he allows all of that to happen. Um, he allows us to be a bit more not complacent necessarily, but not push for that goal and sort of save our legs a little bit. Um, it's a comfortable lead, um, and it gives us a chance to gives us a chance to start the young lads, uh, give them a bit of a run out, and at Old Trafford as well, give them the feeling that they're at home and sort of bed them in a little bit better, which is good. So, yeah, uh, I wanted to speak about Marcus Rashford, really. Uh, Marcus Rashford is possibly our most talented player uh, on the ball and off the ball, really. He is also the mo most frustrating player ever to watch in the world. He's so good, he's so talented, and the two chances he missed, man, like... He's so frustrating. He's so, he's so good, but he just does stupid things, like... Recently, last three months, I don't think he's been that great, but he is scoring. But all he does is put his head down and run at the defence and lose it. Like it's, he needs to keep keep his head up. He needs to look for another pass. Like I, he used to do it. I don't know why he stopped, unless he's been told to. Maybe I'm not entirely sure, but it's so bad to watch. He just gets the ball, puts his head down, and runs at the defence and then lose it. it. It is a bit shit, but um, obviously you get on the score sheet today, which is really good. Um, I, I can't really put my finger on why he's doing it. Like I say, unless Ollie's told him to just be direct and have a run, but he's got a 
keep his head up. He's got to look around. He's got to find Cavani's runs. He's got to find Martial. He's got to find Greenwood. All of them can finish, even Bruno. All of them can finish. But I don't know if he's just being greedy or whether he wants the goals or... I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one. But Marcus Rashford did have a good performance tonight, but it was two sitters missed. He could have had a hat-trick. Just really frustrating again from Marcus Rashford. Uh, the third thing I want to speak about is probably Dan James, actually. Uh, Dan James is... I'm not his biggest fan. I'll be honest, I'm not his biggest fan, but he does offer a lot to a team um, in these sort of games. Very counter-attacking, very, extremely quick. Uh, he tracks back a lot, which is why he normally plays on the left-hand side to cover Shaw or Tellers. Because obviously, if you have James and wan on the same side, it's very defensive. Um, I think he did excellent tonight. I think Bruno's pass has helped him a lot and putting him in the space, helped him show his pace a little bit. Uh, but his final product was excellent tonight. Uh, obviously, he got on the score sheet as well. But overall, I think when Bruno went off, I think he was our best player. Uh, I thought he was buzzing around really well. He kept his stamina up. He kept his fitness up. Uh, the t tenacity. Um, a bit of patience as well, to be fair, because not always does he get that ball through. Um, so he does carry on making those runs. Um, he works hard to get the ball back, plays the simple ball. I thought he played really well. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a massive fan of him, as I said, but overall, I think he had an excellent game tonight. And apart from Bruno, which is a given, because Bruno's always mint. But um, I think Dan James was, was really good. Um, probably our second best player. Rate number nine. Bruno maybe a 10 because he got two goals, but I thought James got a nine. Really good. Very impressed. So to finish off, um, I've just read that... Um, Apparently, Man United have never been knocked out of a European tie after winning the first away leg. Apparently, so fingers crossed. That is excellent. Um, as of start of the video, uh, I am being sponsored by Rogue Energy now. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you want to take a look at the website, um, it's all on the on the start of the video. I'll put a quick promotion after this as well. If you want to have a look, um, obviously it helps me out as well. It makes me look good. So if you could do that, that's great. Um, and obviously, if it does well. I'll start doing uh, giveaways and stuff like that as well. So thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe for the video. Uh, very much appreciate it. See you in the next one. In a bit.